everybody welcome to day three we are live again so i'll just wait for a few of you to jump on here so when you have joined please let me know give me a wave say hello how are we all doing are we all feeling good all still well ready to train hi everybody so we are on day three now so welcome to day three of our workouts from home well, we got Callum on there. Hi, Callum. So today we have got a lower body workout for you guys. So before we start getting warmed up, I just want to remind you that if you miss any of these live workouts, don't worry. You'll be able to go onto the link in our Instagram bio and you'll be able to download the PDF version of the workout. So you've actually got it written down there for you. So you can do that at home even without me here. Amazing seeing so many of you people here. Thank you guys. Okay, so ready? We're gonna get warmed up. So make sure that you have got a drink because this one's gonna be hard. We also want a towel. So I'll show you later why we'll need a towel. And then we'll also need our pretend weights. So whatever you're using, you don't have to use the weights, but I like to challenge myself a little bit. So I'm gonna be using some weights today. So I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to go and grab those things if you haven't got them ready. And in the meantime, the rest of you find a little bit of space and we'll start to get warmed up. So as weird as it looks, we're gonna start with hip circles. So just getting the hips moving. So circling round and round. And then rotating to the other way. Lovely work. We're now just going to stretch out those hamstrings. So you want to try and keep your legs straight. You're going to reach down, try to touch your toes if you can. Give your legs a little shake. Just getting those hamstrings warmed up. And then slowly coming up. Okay, we're now just going to come into some high knees. So bring your knees up, starting to warm up those hips a little bit more. Get those knees up nice and high. Excellent. So, should be starting to feel a little bit warmer now. Keeping that going for another five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work, guys. So, we're now gonna circle those arms backwards. Just getting the upper body warmed up. And then rotating the other way. Lovely work guys. Okay, so for those of you if you have just joined, just a quick reminder, you'll be needing a towel and your pretend weights. So whatever you wanna use, you don't have to use weights if you prefer to just do body weight exercises, entirely up to you, but just have one handy because you will need them for one of the exercises that we will be doing. Okay, so just as we have been doing for the last couple of days, we're gonna be doing 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. So, we are going to start round one. I'm gonna show you the exercises first, just like I always do, and then you'll be able to see what we are doing. First round, nice and easy, we're coming into our squats. So as always, weight stays into your heels. You're gonna imagine that you're sitting down onto a chair, so you're not coming forward onto the knees. You want to send the hips back, and then pushing up through the heels. So this is your squat, that's exercise number one. Exercise number two are your lunges. Entirely up to you if you want to do forward lunges, but I quite like reverse lunges. So we're gonna step backwards and then drive up, stepping backwards and driving up. So nice and easy. So that's exercise number two. Exercise number three in this round, you will be needing to use the floor. We're going to do a single leg glute bridge. So, lying down onto your back. Your heels are going to be quite near your bum. You're going to take one leg over the other. You're going to drive your hips all the way up to the ceiling and then lowering them down. Notice that I'm not touching my bum onto the floor. We're keeping that tension going in the glutes and then of course we will be swapping, doing the same onto the other side. If you do start to feel that anywhere that you shouldn't, so if you start to feel it into your back, 
stop doing the exercise, readjust yourself and go again, bring your heels a little bit closer to your bum, that should help as well. Okay, so that is number one. I've got my timer ready. So if you want to make this more difficult, of course, you can add your weights onto the exercises. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just gonna use one for my squats. So getting yourself into some space, we are ready. We're gonna go 40 seconds of those squats, then we've got our 20 second rest. Hope you're all ready. All right, we're going in three, two, and one. So we're squatting down. So breathing in as you squat down, breathe out as you come up. Thinking about sending your knees out nice and wide. If you find you're struggling with your squat, open your stance a little bit wider. That should help you get a little bit lower. So remember, weight stays into the heels and we're trying to sit down on that chair behind us. We don't want the knees to be doing any work here. Lovely, we're nearly there. 10 seconds left. And rest. Excellent work, guys. So nice and easy, first exercise done. So we're coming into those lunges now. So I'm gonna use two weights here for my lunges. Entirely up to you, as I said before, if you prefer to do your forward lunges, you can. However, I prefer reverse lunges. All right, off we go. So we're reverse lunging or forward lunging, whatever it is you want to do. So we've got 40 seconds here. Trying to keep that chest upright. Don't let your chest drop down. Nice upright chest. Same as before, breathe out as you come up, breathe in as you go down. Lovely work guys, we're nearly there, 10 seconds left, keeping that going if we can. In four, three, two, one, and rest. Lovely work guys, okay. So now we come to those glute bridges. So get yourselves down onto the floor. We're gonna keep those heels relatively close to our bum. We're gonna use the right leg first. So right leg goes over left leg. All right, in three, two, and one. So breathe out, sending the hips up. Breathe in, lower them down. Breathe out, up, in, down. So really think about getting those hips up high. Don't let them drop. You want to keep that tension the whole time. So don't let yourself drop down. You want to keep a little bit of a gap. 10 seconds left. We're nearly there. In five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing. Excellent work. Hopefully you're all feeling okay. We're now going to jump onto the other leg. So stay where you are. We've got about 10 seconds left before we go. So lying back down now. This time, left leg is coming over right knee. We're going three, two, and one. So send your hips up towards the ceiling and then bring them down. Don't let your bum drop down to the floor. You want to keep that tension going. If you are starting to feel it straining a bit into the lower back, Bring your right leg a little bit closer towards your bum and that's going to be working the legs and glutes a little bit more. So breathe out, breathe in as you come down, breathe out and in. We're over halfway here so keeping this going if we can. 10 seconds left. All right, and relaxing down. Lovely work. So that's the first round of round one completed. So jumping back up again. We've got 10 seconds before we're starting onto those squats again. All right, we're going in three, two, and one. So squatting down, drive up through the heels. So all the weight is coming through the heels. If you feel like you're struggling with your balance, widen that stance a little bit. It will help you just keep your feet nice and firmly into the ground. Breathing in as you go down, breathe out as you push up. So breathe in, breathe out. We're over 
we're halfway. Keeping this going. Well done, guys. 10 seconds left. Nearly there. For three, two, and one. Well done. Next, we've got those lunges again. So grabbing the weights if you want to. Remember, you can just do body weight lunges entirely up to you. All right, we've got 10 seconds. We're nearly there. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two, and one. So breathe in, go down, breathe out, come up. Lovely work. Again, if you are struggling with balance, just try and find something that you can focus on, maybe on the wall in front of you, and that's going to help your balance stay stable. Lovely work. If you want to make it a bit harder for yourself, slowly lowering down. That's going to make it a little bit more challenging. All right, in three, two, and one, relaxing. Back down onto the floor for those glute bridges. We're nearly there. So, lying down just as before, remembering, bring those feet a little bit closer to the bum. Lying down, we're going in five, four. Bring that right leg over the left knee. And off we go. So breathe out, send the hips up. Breathe in, dropping them down. So as you send the hips up, really focusing on squeezing that left glute. Lovely work, guys. So we're over halfway now, keeping that going if you can. Nearly there. Get those hips up, don't let them drop. Keep pushing. In three, two, and one, relaxing, releasing your leg. We've got 15 seconds before we're coming into that other leg. So keeping that breathing nice and steady. 10 seconds before we change onto the other leg. So lying back down, left leg coming over right, and off we go. So breathe out, hips come up, breathe in, they go down. Really sending those hips up, squeezing onto that right bum cheek now. As I said before, if you find that you're straining into your lower back, bring the right heel a little bit closer to your bum, and that will put more focus onto your glutes. Excellent work, guys. 10 seconds left, and then we get our rest. And relaxing down. Excellent work, guys. So we've made it through round one. Grab your water. How's everyone feeling? Everyone find that okay? All right, guys. So we're now coming on to our second round. Let me just put my password into my computer. So round two. We're starting with crab walks. We will then go into our lying hamstring curls. We will then attempt our jump squats and then go into a curtsy lunge. Okay, so first one, crab walks. So just like we've done squatting, so you're gonna get nice and low, you're gonna take two steps to the right and then two steps to the left. So like this, staying low, and that's your crab walk. So this is what we'll be doing as our first exercise in this round. Okay, second exercise. This is where you need your towel. Lying back down onto the floor. We're working the hamstrings here. So you're going to be sending your hips up towards the ceiling. You're then going to drive your heels away from you and then you're going to pull them back towards you. And this is working your hamstrings. So heels push away from you and then you pull them towards you. So that's your hamstring curl. We will then have our jump squats. So you have got two options here. If you think jump squats are gonna be a bit too much for you, just go into your regular squat, that's absolutely fine. Otherwise, jump squats, 
We're doing exactly what we've done before, but just adding your jump. Nice and easy. Except for 40 seconds of that really burns. <laughs> and then finally, we've got our curtsy lunges. My floor's now a little bit slippy after doing those hamstring curls, so I'm just gonna take off my socks. So coming into our curtsy lunges, just like we've done before with a nice lunge, except you're going to send your back leg a little bit more to the side. So, as you see, my back leg is a little bit further out than it would be normally in a regular lunge. So, if I can show you this way, you're sending that leg further back behind you and diagonally, just like that. So that's your curtsy lunge. So, we'll be doing this round. So, are we ready? We're gonna go 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, twice round. Are we ready to go? Starting with our crab walks. So finding that space, I'm just gonna set up the timer. Okay, are we ready for those crab walks? So getting into that squat position, getting nice and low. We're going in three, two, and one. So two steps to the right, and then two steps to the left, keeping low. Keep breathing throughout this, keeping that going. We've got 40 seconds here. Get a little bit lower if you can. We're currently halfway, keeping that moving, guys. Well done. Don't give up now, it should be burning, but keep going, get lower if you can. Less than 10 seconds. In three, two, and one, coming all the way up. Well done, guys. Okay, so we're now coming into those lying hamstring curls. So get your towel, lie yourself down onto the floor. So remember, we want to send the hips up and you're using just your heels. So if I show you here, off we go. So we're pressing away and then we're pulling back, keeping the hips up as much as you can. So these ones are really quite tough. Really focusing on keeping the hips up. Lovely work guys, halfway there. Keep the hips up. Breathing in as you drive away, breathe out as you pull in. In five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing down. Well done. How was that? Those ones burn. Okay, getting into some space now. So we have the option. We're either squatting or we're doing our jump squats. So entirely up to you. All right, we're going. In three, two, one. 40 seconds. So we've either got our jump squats. Or if this is too much, we can just take our regular squats here. So just as before, Sending the hips back behind you, driving up through the heel. And then we're breathing in as we go down and breathing out as we push up. So if you want to add the jumps. Ten seconds left here, guys. We're nearly there. And rest. Well done, okay. Getting into that space now, we're coming into those curtsy lunges. So remember, this is the one where your back leg is going a little bit further behind you, almost diagonally. So, we're off in five, four, three, two, and one. So we're curtsy lunging. So that back leg comes back behind you, keeping that going. So just as before, breathing in as you go down, breathe out as you push up. We're nearly there, 10 seconds left here. Keeping this going for five, four, three, two, and one. Resting for 20 seconds and then we go back to our starting exercise. So, Coming back, 
Ooh. I've just lost my page. All right, so we're back into those crab walks. Off we go, get low. Two steps to the right, and then two steps to the left. Lovely work, guys, keeping that going. This should be starting to get a little bit burny, but we're pushing through that burn. Keep breathing. If your breathing is still a little bit out of breath like I am, just keep breathing in and breathing out nice and slowly. If you want to make this a little bit harder for yourself, get lower. Really push yourself. We've only got 10 seconds left here. This is the last time we'll be doing crab walks today. Do what you can. All right, in three, in two, and one. Relaxing. Whew. Coming back to those hamstring curls now. Lying down onto the floor, get that towel ready. We've got 10 seconds before we go. So remember, using your heels as what you're gonna be pushing with. So toes are up in the air, and we're sending hips up, and off we go. So breathe out as you draw your legs in. So breathing in as they come straight, breathe out, keep the hips up. Lovely work guys, we're halfway, keep the hips up. Remember, try not to let them drop. And then squeeze those hamstrings, nearly there. We've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, relaxing, well done guys. 15 seconds now before we come into those jump squats again. So you have got the option, jump squats or regular squats, doing what you can. All right, in three, two, and one. So, standard option, you're squatting. Remember, sending the hips back behind you, keep the weight into the heels. Harder option here, adding that jump. So I'm gonna start adding that jump, for the last 20 seconds. So I'm gonna be going now. Adding that jump if you want to. Push yourself, last 20 seconds here. Ten seconds, we're nearly there. Lovely work guys, three, two, and one. Well done, so. Last and final exercise in this round, we've got our curtsy lunges. So we've got about 10 seconds. So find that space, remember this one, the leg is coming diagonally behind us. We are going in three, in two, one, off we go. Lovely work guys. So breathing for this one, breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you come up. Ten seconds left here, then we get our break. In five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, well done guys. How are you all feeling? We've got a little break now, so grab your water. How did everyone find that? Anyone's legs hurting yet? No, you're all too exhausted to write anything. <laughs> okay, while you guys are recovering, I will show you our third and final round of what we'll be doing. Cameron says, loving it. Amazing, Cameron. Thank you so much. Lynn. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, guys. So, round three. We are starting with pulse squats. So, you guys are going to be fed up with squats by the end of this. Pulse squats. We're just squatting as normal, but you're taking two bounces and then coming up. So, you're really, really pushing tension into your glutes. So, that is exercise one. That's our pulse squats. Exercise two, you will need one or both of your weights entirely up to you. 
we're going to do a squat press. So, we're going to squat down and then we're going to press up. So, squatting down and then pressing up. If you prefer to just use one, squat down, press up. Squatting down, press up. Okay, and then our last two are our fire hydrants. Now, the best way to describe fire hydrants if you've not done them before, imagine you're a male dog going for a wee. So we're gonna get down onto all fours. You want to make sure here that shoulders are over wrists and that your hips are directly over your knees. And we're just gonna be lifting our leg up and then bringing it back down. So we're working here onto the glute med. So if I show you from the front, my body stays still, but my back leg is just coming up and down. And then obviously the fourth one is gonna be the same onto the other side. You want to keep your whole body as still as you can so that it's just the legs doing the movement. If you are finding that it's hurting into your lower back, think about drawing your belly button up towards your spine whilst you're in that position and tucking your tailbone under. So what I mean by that, see that little tuck? Doing that is gonna help protect that lower back and make sure that you're working into the glutes. Alrighty, so third and final round, starting with our pulse squats. I'm just setting up the timer. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Off we go. So pulse squats, so you've got two pulses at the bottom. So one, two, up. One, two, up, good. 40 seconds of this. And then we're coming into that squat and press. Breathing in as you bend, breathe out as you drive up. So really working here into the glutes and the quads. Well done guys, don't give up now, we're nearly there. 10 seconds left. In three, two, and one. Well done, okay, so grabbing your weight. We're gonna come into that squat and press. So remember, squatting down and then extending the arms. See how the water bottle comes just sort of directly above my forehead? That's where we wanna position the arms. Off we go, so breathe in as you squat down, breathe out as you press up. Breathe in, squat down, breathe out as you come up. Lovely work guys, halfway. Watch my knees, my knees are coming out, they're not caving in, so keep them out. 10 seconds left here, we're nearly there. In five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up, lovely work guys. So we're now going into those fire hydrants. So remember, you wanna get down onto your all fours, keeping shoulders over wrists, knees are coming under hips, and then all we're doing is just lifting that leg. So starting with the right leg, off we go. So we're breathing out as you lift up, breathe in as it comes down. Try not to lift your head, try and keep a nice neutral spine, and try to keep that body still. So we're working into the glute med here, a little muscle that's gonna help protect that lower back. We're over halfway on this side. Notice that my leg's not coming up particularly high. We're just working into that muscle. Lovely work guys, we're nearly there. In five, four, three, two, and one. Resting, so we've got our 20 second rest here before going on to the other side. So remember, as I said, if you're finding that's pulling into the lower back, think about drawing your belly button up towards your spine and tucking tailbone under. So, we're going other side in five, four, three, two, and one. Off we go. So left leg is coming up and down. So keep that tailbone tucked under. Breathe out as the leg comes up, breathe in as it goes down. Try and keep your spine neutral, so not lifting the head. Breathe 
Okay, we're halfway on this side, keeping this moving, guys. Should be burning a little bit. Nearly there. Keeping pushing, we've got 10 seconds left. Breathe out as it comes up, breathe in as it comes down. In three, two, and one. Excellent work. Okay, so jumping back up, we're coming back again with those pulse squats. We've got 10 seconds left. So I'm just gonna quickly grab some water. All right, we're going in three, two, and one. So pulse, and then up. If you wanna make it harder, grabbing your weight, and then coming up. So remember breathing in, and then breathe out as we come up. Over halfway, keeping that going if we can. Try and get your squat a little bit lower, really work through those glute muscles. 10 seconds left. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely work, guys, so keeping hold of that weight if you've got it. If not, grab your weight. We're coming into our squat and press in 10 seconds time. So we're nearly there, catching your breath. Just think, this is the last and final round. We are so close. All right, we're going. Off we go. So squatting down, breathe out as you press up. So breathe in, squat down, breathe out, press up. So notice the water bottle stays almost directly in line with my forehead. So breathe in as you squat down, breathe out, press up. Excellent work guys, keeping that moving, we're over halfway. Ten seconds to go. This is the last time I'll be making you squat press today. Alright, and resting. Excellent work guys, get rid of that weight. We're getting down onto the floor, so this is our last final little bit before we can stretch. So, 10 seconds, coming into those fire hydrants, starting with the right leg. So remember, hands and knees, making sure shoulders are over wrists and the hips are over knees. Off we go, right leg. We're just raising it up. Just working that glute move. So remember, my leg is not necessarily coming all the way up here. You wanna keep your body as still as you can. Drawing belly button up towards the spine, keep that head nice and neutral. Breathe out as you lift up, breathe in as it comes down. Halfway. Lovely work guys, 10 seconds left, we're nearly there, keep going. Keep pushing through that burn. In five, four, three, two, and one. Having a quick rest. Well done guys, so you've got all 40 seconds left of work and then you are done for the day. We'll do a little bit of stretching before we finish. So we're going left leg, fire hydrant in five seconds. Getting back into position, squeezing that core, off we go, left leg lifts up and then comes back down. Breathe out as it lifts up, breathe in as it comes down. Draw belly button up towards your spine, don't let your lower back take over here. You want to be using that glute muscle, so keeping that going if you can. We are nearly there. Okay guys, this is your last 20 seconds. Keep pushing, keep going. I know it's probably burning, but we just want to keep moving. All right guys, 10 seconds left. Keep going, don't give up now. In five, four, three, two, and one. And resting. Well done guys, we've made it through today's leg workout. So we're just going to do a couple of stretches now. So lying down onto your back and we'll just do a couple of stretches for those glutes. So we're going to start by bringing the right knee, make sure you can see me. Right knee is going to come in towards that chest. Hug it there for a moment. You're then going to take your right knee across your body, extending right arm out. Turn your head so that it's looking at your right hand. 
You should feel a nice stretch into the glutes here. Just holding that there. And then releasing, coming back to the center, we're gonna do the same onto the other side. So, left knee is coming in towards your chest. And then you're gonna take that left knee over the right side of your body. And then you're gonna extend your left arm and turn your head to look at that left arm. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing back there now, we're going to bend both knees, taking that right leg over that left knee. You're then gonna hug your left leg in towards you and then you should feel a nice stretch into the hip and also into the glute, maybe into the inner thigh area as well. Just keep holding that there. For five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing that leg, we're gonna do the same on the other side. So taking left leg over right, hugging right leg in towards you. Try to relax your shoulders down here. Don't let yourself get all tense. Just wanting to stretch out that leg. For five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing those legs. We're gonna now come up nice and slowly. Give the legs a little shake if they need them. We're now just gonna take a quick quad stretch. So if you need to hold on to something like a little ledge, that's absolutely fine. You're going to pick up your right leg first, so we're going to hold on to that foot. You want to make sure that your knees stay together here. So you're going to be stretching down the front of that right leg. If you find, like me, that that's not really enough of a stretch for you, sending the hips a little bit further forward. See what I've done there? Just pushing the hips forward should increase that stretch into your right leg. five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing the leg, we're now gonna do the same onto the other side. So taking hold of that left foot, feel that stretch down the front of the left leg. Keeping those knees together, I don't want to see anyone's knees like this. Keep them nice and tight together. For five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing that leg, give your legs a little shake out. And well done guys, that is it. You have completed leg day. So thank you so much for joining. As I said at the beginning of this live, all of the exercises that we do every day will be available to download on the Harlequins Foundation website. You can go to the link in the bio of Harlequins Foundation page and you can check them all out there. If you have any questions or any requests, please do send us a DM and let us know what you'd like us to do. We are planning on doing a beginner's HIIT workout tomorrow, so get ready to sweat. And I really, really hope you enjoyed that. So anything you guys would like to quickly say before I jump off here? Hi, Olivia. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Lynn. So I'm really glad that you guys are loving this. So as always, we'll be back again tomorrow at 12, so you can just join us and work out from home keeping all of our spirits up in this really, really weird time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Sarah. Amazing. Well, we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow where we'll be doing that beginner's HIIT workout. So get ready to sweat. And as always, please like, share, tell your friends about it. Give the Harlequins Foundation a follow and join us again every day from 12. See you then, guys. Take care.